Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Chamber TV. We are in Safety Harbor, and we're actually in the Safety Harbor. We're not on location, location like we normally are. But we're going to come out of the gates. I have got Nicole Williams from the Heart Gallery. Now, you guys have been on before. Yes. I've not met you, but I'm glad you're here. Thank you. You, glad have, I, I, you have a history in this in this world as well, don't you? Yes. Right. Let's talk about Heart Gallery, and then let's talk about how you've 17 years. Yes. Wow. Yes. You go, yes. girl. Thank you. So with the Heart Gallery, what we do is we, um, it's our mission to connect children within the foster care system eligible for adoption with their forever families. Okay. And um, we do that by way of front-facing portraits. And this year, um, by using artwork, we're calling okay. it Heart Art. Um, and we actually specialize in recruiting for children that are the hardest to adopt. Okay. So those would be considered your advanced medical need children, your sibling groups, and then, of course, your teenagers. I'm glad you said that because my question is, is, is are you on a deadline because of their age? Yes, okay. we are. We are. So children, we basically have until their 18th birthday to secure that forever family. Um, and then, you know, once they hit 18, um, it's not that they can't be adopted at right. 18, but that wouldn't be something that we would facilitate. Okay. I, I've, I've always wondered how that worked, yeah. right? So, you know, you know, you get a child that's not adopted and then hits 18. The, the, the one second of his 18th birthday, he was considered on his own. Yes. Which is sad. It is. It is. And there are services in place for our children that age out of the system of care. Um, there's, you know, ready for life that kind of help with those life skills. Um, but a lot of children, by the time they hit 18, mm. you know, the last thing they want to do is right. still continue on with the, the system of care. So we find that finding those families really matters and makes a positive impact for our children. Do you, do you have more of the brother sisters type of thing or is it the, the medical side that really is kind of the harder? Yeah, I would say that most of our children that wait the longest are our children with um, advanced medical needs. Okay. Um, and our sibling groups wait as well, but it's definitely those children with those medical needs. Right. Um, you know, where it, it's just harder to, to place. And um, we have to be very careful. We want to make sure that our family strengths match up with the needs of our children. Oh, wow. That's a, that is a noble job. Thank I'm you. just saying that's a, but speaking of noble, you've been doing this for 17 years. I have. Yes. That's amazing. Thank you. I mean, I, I, I know I, I just don't know how you do it because I'd sit there and cry myself to sleep and I go, Oh my God, this family didn't get adopted today. What am I going to do? Yes. But, yes. but you've been in this world. So how long has the heart gallery been around? So the heart gallery actually is a national agency Got it. and they've been around. They started in New Mexico in 2006. Okay. Um, but we've had it with Gulf Coast JFCS since 2019. Oh, wow. um, but it was around before, right. before Gulf Coast took over. Right, right. So we've been around for a really long time. Um, and it's a proven, emotionally safe way to recruit for children looking okay. for their forever families. That's awesome. Yeah. So that means if you, just because that you have your children here in Florida doesn't mean they can't be adopted out of state. They Correct. can be anywhere in the country. They can. Absolutely. Have you ever, have they ever asked going, hey, we love, we know we're in Florida, but we'd love to go to Tennessee or Kentucky or Missouri or California? Yes, of course. Do they, you know, do they kids, have those requests? Yeah, kids love adventure. So mm -hmm. there are children that are, are looking for that as well. And there's plenty of families all around the country that um, come to us okay. and inquire about our children. So what if, if I'm a parent or I'm, I'm a person that goes, okay, I will adopt one of your medically challenged, mm -hmm. right? So how does that work? Does my insurance now take over or do they have insurance of their own or is it state? Yeah, that's an excellent question. Okay. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people have that question. So all of our children are eligible for Medicaid until they're 23 okay. years old. Right. Um, however, the adoptive parent would, of course, be able to um, enlist, if you will, their own insurance for that child. Okay. Um, but there's also assistance from the state as well to make sure that the child's medical needs are covered and cared for, because we certainly wouldn't want that to be a barrier right, in right. getting a child a family. Yeah. 
I would be more scared of taking on three or four kids yeah. <laughs> than I would be medically. But you know, but it is what it is. So, yeah. so here's another question, Terry. I didn't, I didn't ask you beforehand. So, so what if you've got a group of siblings and the oldest is that age of aging out, but the other ones are not? Mm -hmm. How does that work? Well, you know, that could work a couple of ways. Okay. Um, the family could still adopt all of them. Okay. Um, or, you know, if the child decided that that's maybe not something that they wanted to do, um, they could choose to go their own way. Okay. So in the state of Florida, children that are 12 and up must consent to their own adoption. Wow. So that's, okay. it's a good thing yeah. in a sense because they have a say and they're invested. Right. Um, but we could definitely work with that family to adopt all of them as, as a unit. Norm normally we have a, a we have a little easel here with all your pictures. Yes. Because you have one. You, it's, we can't get it, but there's one sitting yeah. right over there. I I love how you you take a good picture of them and they're like, look at this beautiful child and who yeah. doesn't he needs a home or she needs a home, yeah. right? Which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Um, so what can people do if they can't adopt? Yes. Right. What can people do to help? So many things. Ah, so I love so many, many things. things. Um, you know, if you're not in a position to adopt maybe consider being a foster parent. Um, oh, okay. If that's not in the cards, consider being a mentor. You know, it takes one healthy, nurturing adult to really help children go the right way and start to heal their trauma. Um, and if that's not for you either, there's always volunteering opportunities. Oh, okay. We're looking for volunteer photographers all the time. Um, volunteer artists to help us. Right. Um, and then, of course, you could donate to the Heart Gallery or That's very much. Nice. That other. was my next question. So <laughs> how can we financially help you? Yes. So our website is heartgallerykids.org. Okay. Um, there is a little donation box there that you can click. Um, and you can also view our children's artwork and portraits on that website as well. That is absolutely phenomenal. You normally I have to say, well, okay, so where can people find you? But yeah. you just told everybody. There you which go. <laughs> so if I've not hit, well, so if I've not talked about something now, right now is the time to, you, we got about a minute and 30 yeah. seconds left. What else have I not talked about? Because I know you got a ton of stuff. Yeah, no, I would just say that if families are considering adoption um, and they have questions um, or fears or challenges, reach out to us okay. um, because we're here to not only support the children, but also individuals looking to adopt. You know, we're, we're here for that journey. Right. We know that that journey comes with challenges, um, but we're here. We're here for families and yeah. family makes all the difference in the world. Um, and if you're not considering it, I would definitely um, tell you to think about it think because about it. you can really make a difference in a child's life. That's awesome. So they can get all that information on the website, correct? They sure do. That is absolutely phenomenal. Hey folks, thank you for watching this segment. You know, we've got like five other great guests coming on here and I don't know how we're going to top this, but they're <laughs> going to have to try. We'll be right back after these messages. Thank you. All right, everybody. Welcome back. And you know what? We're going to get fancy. Just saying, we're going to get fancy. Got Lauren Lyons from the Patent Bow. Hi, everybody. Now, that's a beautiful boutique, boutique, right? Yes. And look at this, ladies. Look, look, look. Oh, wait. I Here, see, look. I know, but I know, I know what's money. Look at them <laughs> boots, right? Oh, see, why does it women get all the good stuff and guys are like, we have to suck it up. You know, wear. my son says the same thing. It's not fair. I know. And high heels were originally meant for men. I know. So there you go. There's a history lesson for you. Well, I'm excited because as I've gotten older, I've gotten shorter because I can't wear heels as much like I used to. Okay. So it's really nice to be able to find some comfortable shoes yes. that are also stylish Absolutely. and trendy. So. so let's talk about the boutique. Let's talk about it. Uh, what, what is, I mean, I know what it is. Let's yeah. tell everybody home what the boutique is. So we are um, fashion forward. We love, our customer is a customer that walks into our store and she's, wanting something different and she comes in and we're able to style her in a way to where she feels absolutely beautiful and every time they walk out and they feel fantastic and fabulous and that's our job because that's how we like to make women feel um, we carry brands that are women um, owned women uh, designed so that's really important to us as well uh, we love helping local communities mm -hmm. so some of our products are from um, different tribes that have been making it. So wow. we have a lot of handmade pieces. 
Um, I work really hard. I go, I go to a lot of different markets. I go to a lot of different art shows all over the country, right. trying to find the unique piece. So, I was going to tell you. So my wife mm -hmm. secret shopped you, right? Really? And okay. she found four or five things. Uh, garments in there that was she absolutely she, she I love loved. bottom home she goes she's i've never seen this anywhere else i love that's what we get a lot and i love that and that is phenomenal as it's like it's really heartwarming to me because you know i was a stay-at-home mom for 10 years and i put everything in that store i opened it in two weeks and now we're opening up another one <gasps> Uh, four, awesome. four, five, seven, Dunedin and Main Street. Also, you're going to be in Dunedin now. Yeah, we're going to be in Dunedin. Okay. So we're growing. Yeah. Um, but now that I'm doing that one, I don't know how I did that in two weeks. I really don't. So, I have no so idea how I did that. Let's remind everybody what your why was, why you did this. It's my passion. I love making women feel beautiful. That's like a really big thing. I'm not in this to sell what the person next door is selling and right. about the money. It's about what really makes a woman feel happy. You know, there's something about retail that people don't understand and about fashion. I think that's what always attracted to me right. is the psychology behind it. Yes. You know, when women walk in, and I think that's one of the hard parts about our job is we beat ourselves up. And the older we get, we beat ourselves up even more. Yes, you do. And we're all the same. Every woman that walks in, we're all the same. And I feel, as well as I picked a team, that can make that woman feel absolutely beautiful and comfortable when they leave. Right. So that that that's why I'm in yeah, it. Yeah, your beautiful team is standing over there. They are. They are. I have my new manager Ashley, which I'm so excited about, and I have my Maria, who's been with me for almost two years. She's fantastic. Um, because of them is why Ashley's I felt very bubbly. She well, I felt very comfortable. Let me tell you, on Christmas Day, they sent me the spot. I didn't even know if I was going to open up a store, a second store. Yeah. But I knew with my my newer team. I knew I could do it. You could do it. I could do it with my support system. And they as well, you know, they're Maria, you know, she's a retired teacher. And ah. she's an amazing seller. I okay. trained her in a week. She <laughs> a week. does. She did. She great. is. She just, well, she has she's a teacher. She should be a learner too. She and is. She's probably she way is. better than most of the people. But I love it in. because it's extra money for her. Right. You know, and then actually starting her career, you know, and when I, when I met Ashley, she reminded me of me when I was younger. She's right. a go-getter. You know, she loves customers and she sees a future with everything that she does. Right. So, That's good. That yeah. is so good. So, okay, let's talk about some okay. of the brands that you have brought to us. Okay. I love this. Okay. So and that is from a brand named uh, Canvas. Canvas. Okay. Yes. It's so pretty. It is gorgeous. And it's with I resin love the color and blue. the gold. We have them in white. We have them in pink. Uh, we also have earrings that match. Um, you could get the whole set. One thing that we always say at the patent bow is we will dress you from head to toe there and we, go. and we will, right. and we will. And you know, we enjoy it. I also just brought some new pieces in. This is from the boys showroom in Miami. Um, nice. we have the blazers over here. They're all Swarovski crystal, one of a kind. Um, they were featured on project runway. So right. that's really exciting. Right. Um, I order very minimal because I don't want everybody down the street wearing the same thing. Right. Like if you come into our shop, you're going to find something that is special, unique, and will make you feel. So something like that, you wouldn't see. That's the, When you buy that, you mm -hmm. have one of a kind. We have one of a kind. I mean, you might see something like that on a different piece or different yeah, different but colors. That, but that is, that is her that own. Is the huge. woman that owns that, that is her own top. Yep. I love this. So this is a great look too. This is from, made from Italy. This is our comfort brand, mm -hmm. um, but yet very stylish with the jean, with the pants. She could dress it up. She could just dress it down. I mean, really, they could do anything with this. This is very, very. Um, uh, this is a great, great seller in our right. store because ever since COVID, people want to feel comfortable, yeah. and this is comfortable yet stylish and yet comfort. Um, we also have linen. So our linen season starting. We love carrying linen. It's great for Florida. Right. Um, yeah. It breathes well. It breathes well. And this well. is a clutch, right? Yep. Little and beautiful little I found clutch. these in New York. So when I went with my daughter, and I just, I'm always working. Yeah. I'm always working. I'm always trying to find the best piece for What's right women. Off? Well, I don't even think about it like that. I, see, I, I'm, a, I'm a money guy. I'm like, oh, hey, I'm going over here. If I talk to somebody about yeah, a show somewhere, yeah, yeah, guess true. what? I just, true. I just, I can write down that's all true. that. That's true. business trip. That's true. Right? Yeah, that is true. And when you open a new store, you got to make sure that money is... Uh, trust me. That's been... That's been a, so how, So where, where in Dunedin is this? So I'm going to be right next to Sterling Wine okay. in Flanagan's, right in all the middle Flanagan. there. Okay. Yeah. It's a beautiful small spot. It's a great little area. It is great. A lot We're of foot traffic. We're super excited about it. Yep. Yeah. Um, 
my... You won't keep stuff in stock? No. 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 And I love it because we're going to send them to both stores. Yes. Like, I'm not going to carry the same stuff at Dunedin that right. will be in Safety Harbor. So that's going to be really just fun. And it's so close. So you'll be FaceTiming back and forth to show. Hey, look, let me hold on. Something. Let me get FaceTime. Get FaceTime you know what? That, thank you. You're very welcome. That's you, a great idea. I, will, I won't charge Put you that. Put that on the list. I won't yeah. charge you No, for that. that's a great but idea. What a great, you know, no, that a, is super great. But when you, and, and it, you know, when you carry eclectic. Yeah. You know, and I know you guys, I, I know people don't like that word. But right. Eclectic is me is that makes me want to shop there I agree. even more yes. because I don't want to buy something that everybody else. No, has got. why? I want something. We live and, one time. Right. Be the best that you can be yeah. and be you. Exactly. And um, well, I don't know if people can handle me. <laughs> the corporate you, you man. I can't believe to our store. We will style you. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, I would. I would wear those. I'm just saying. No, honestly. I'm the, guy, I'm the guy, kind of guy. Yeah, if no, I can find me a good pair those of Those would be super cool on you as well. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, and I'm married and happy. I don't care. But Why not? I think that in our world today, you're supposed to be able to express yourself right. and feel comfortable doing it. Yeah. And I know that with our clientele, sometimes they're like, oh, I'm too old to wear that. And I'm too. And that's I not hear, true. I hear that, that is that not true. Lot. Oh, I'm too old to wear We're not selling like crop tops. Why? Yeah. Why? Why can't you express yourself? Yes. You liked this back in the 70s. Well, guess what? It's in style now. I don't think and we that just should have ever gone flare. out of style. I, agree. I love that look. That I is agree. a great look. And it, it's always, and I, and, and when I see that, I'm like Janis Joplin. Yeah, totally. Totally. Like I mean, it's just so fun and yes, bouncy and flowy and, flowy and romantic don't ask me looking. How I know all this. Stuff. I know. I, just, I, I know. Do you need a job? We are hiring for Denny then. <laughs> Rob might throw me out. He goes like, Denny yeah, go, man, because yeah. you're killing me. Yeah, you're killing One day it. a week, I'm going to be a fashion, fashionista. But um, that is one thing that we also do is that, you know, come in. Let us style yeah. you. Bring in some pieces yep. that you want to match with other pieces. We love incorporating things. We love helping women style. You know, my background is I was a personal stylist. I come from management and sex with Avenue. So we also serve wine. Right. I mean, we'll wine you, dine you, and make you feel fantastic no matter how much you spend. That's not the problem. It's the thing that we want to make you feel special. Lauren, thank you for being thank on. Thank you so Pat much. Look, Pat and Bo, look. You're going to get fashioned up. Come visit us in Safety Harbor look, look. and in Dunedin. We're super excited. This and, could be gone uh, by the end of the day. Let me tell you, we have way more coming. I'm super excited about it. Awesome. Thank you for watching. We'll be right back after Bye. these messages. Thanks. Be good. Everybody, welcome back. And you know what? It's it's kids seems to be my theme today, kinda. <laughs> um, we are with Katie Rockman, and you are ready for life. And you were mentioned. Your program was mentioned <laughs> in the first one with the Heart Gallery. Yes. Which and we didn't plan this. I'm didn't just, plan it at all. Just saying we didn't plan it. So ready for life. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, tell me why you, why that ready for life was started. So Ready for Life was started in 2009 okay. um, by three members of the community who saw a need for those who have aged out of the foster care system okay. to, they were still in need of many connections um, and many resources after they had aged out. So once somebody turns 18, a lot of times they are just turned away from, from the system right. and they have nowhere to go. So we were kind of formed to be kind of the connector for those who have aged out of the system. So, and, so places like... Uh, the heart gallery and other adoption. And once they get that age, it's like, hey, we need to kind of get them ready for life. Correct. Which is a, what a great <laughs> name that is. Um, so what all do you offer the kids? We offer so many programs. Okay. So, so, so many programs. Anything from laundry and shower services to providing a hot meal or food for later in the week to getting them connected to longer life skills classes right. or mommy and me support groups or anything um, that a individual might need, um, we can be that connection for them. So because of, and I don't mean to be that guy, but some of the failures of our education system don't teach these kids how to be an adult. 
Yep. You know, they all like take the test, <laughs> go to college or take the test and go to a trade school. And, and when these kids, and on top of that, when you're trying to find that forever home, mm -hmm. the stress of trying to know that situation you're in, you're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. So now are you, are you going to get them ready? Like you're going to give them the life skills of like how to do a checking book, yep. how to pay your taxes, how, you know, even how, learn how to drive a car. Um, didn't we think, have, you know, I didn't think yep, of that. We've yeah. had, you know, many of our young adults, we've been the ones to teach them how to obtain their license, wow. um, finish their GED, right. apply for college, apply for the military, anything like that. Um, we really, you know, we, we can help them. Really? With those things. Yep. So it, it's amazing how many children do not like my own. Well, my, my, my kids knew a long time ago, but you know, I talked to some of these kids and they're like, I have no idea how to balance a checkbook. Yep. I don't even want a checkbook is mm -hmm. it's like wow you don't think of that you know some of that yes. stuff and right? a lot of times just in little conversations we have with our young adults that's where ideas are sparked by where we had no idea that this was a need that a young adult who's aged out might have and after having conversations that oh my gosh there's probably more out there that yeah. need that it, it, um so, so you literally teach them how to cook how to clean so where's the facility? I mean, I don't know if you can really say where this facility is. Can oh, you say? yes, okay. we can say. Mm -hmm. so I know sometimes it's protected area. No, and you're like, no. Oh, can't <laughs> so where are we located? So we're, we don't have a residential facility. So okay. it's just individuals who are coming in during the weekday to okay. receive services. Um, we're actually located over in Largo, um, okay. over off of Almerton. So just right outside of Safety Harbor. Um, but we service all of Pinellas County. Nice. So we have, so hopefully it's a pretty centrally located for the county. Mm -hmm. uh, we have young adults coming from all areas to, okay. to come in for the day um, to receive any services that so, they might need. So how, I mean, I know the foster, the foster system goes, hey, I've got a child, mm -hmm. um, but say I was in the foster child program and I aged out and I'm only like two years out, right? I'm 20. Mm -hmm. and I still don't get all those life skills. Is that somebody that can come to you? Of course. Um, our primary age is 18 to 25, 26. Okay. So there you go. Um, that is, you know, when they're in that transition phase of life, somebody who's turning 18 and they get out, they may not be ready. They okay. may not know where to go. They may not right. know what to do. It takes a few years and then they can come and find us. But right. we, that's our primary target age. We do have what we call alumni. Um, oh. So those are individuals who they've aged out of the foster care system. They've utilized our services and our programs, and then they are successfully on their own into adulthood. Um, but then they still come back for um, different programs to either be mentors to other kids or to come to our Thanksgiving feast, anything like that. We have what we consider our alumni and we're okay. still very close to them. So. so so when the if the kids are getting close to aging out, mm -hmm. do do people like Nicole call you up and go, hey I, they need some help. Yes, we have wonderful partnerships. Um, we have a lot of connections with some of the group homes that many of our foster care youth live in. And we have a new program called Life Skills Reimagined where we are actually able to, to go in um, to some of those group homes and get connected with those young adults who are in that 15 to 17 right, age range to, to start doing yeah. some class, online classes and some online programming. So hopefully they, they learn something obviously from that program too, but then they know of us once they turn 18 to right. get a additional support if needed. So if I'm watching this right now and I'm like, wow, I'd kind of like to get involved with that. Is that a possibility? Yes, we have, we are a small but mighty team of staff, but mm -hmm. we have a huge team of volunteers and we have volunteers to do anything ranging from selling tickets and raffle items at some of our fundraising events to setting up and taking down food for our Thanksgiving feast. We also have a mentor program where oh. we have dedicated mentors who are matched with our young adults right. to kind of work alongside Ready for Life uh, to get them with any life skills that they might need after that or really any sort of thing we can find a home for a volunteer That's at our cool. organization. So if I wanted to volunteer and say I want to come down and I want to teach help teach cooking or mm -hmm. stuff like that or Laundry. I'm really good at laundry. I can, teach, I can, I can make them master laundry okay. before the end of the day. I'm just saying right now. Um, so that's that's a possibility. Yes, we just have a volunteer application online on our website. Background that, check. Yep, we have to have a background check. Okay. Um, but after you know you do the application, background check, everything like that, you can be in our database system, and we will send out volunteer opportunities periodically as the needs pop up and arise. That is phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal. So. 
what what made you get into this world? Yes, so I actually just joined Ready for Life back okay. in October. All right, you're new. <laughs> so I am very Welcome. new. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I have been in the fundraising nonprofit uh, career for the past six years, okay. and I found the opportunity to come work for Ready for Life, and I did not know anything about Ready for Life before I started working there. Um, I found it is kind of a little hidden gem in our community, and after going there and taking a tour, I knew that this was a that I could become really passionate about oh, yeah. and I have over the past four months or so and it's been just an amazing journey to learn more so about it if I if I'm watching this also and say hey I may not better I may not better show up and help you mm -hmm. can I give you some money yes of course okay. <laughs> we are a nonprofit organization we all are always accepting um, gifts in-kind gifts monetary gifts planned gifts anything like that um, okay. you can go to our website to learn more about that as well that is absolutely <laughs> fine i was getting ready to say so all that's on the website <laughs> all right? that's on the website that is absolutely so, yes. well, hey thank you for being on and, hey this is this so i have <laughs> so today i learned something <laughs> i did not know about ready for life good and i think it's a phenomenal program and you know uh I got people and I know for a fact and we could volunteer or yes, we can help you monetarily. That's so awesome. Well I'd love to take you for a tour of our facilities. I would love person. to I would matter of fact we could film that and, and, and put that on something that we do. We have other other yeah. shows that we could put that on too. That would be great. Thank you very much. Thank so you hey, so stick much. around, we got more guests coming up. We'll be right back <laughs> after these messages. Everybody, welcome back. And you know what? In downtown Safety Harbor, as much as we love it, we know that the parking is tough, right? It's it's like woof. And I've got Happy's golf cart rentals, and I got Jennifer Delano. And what a great idea! It's been needed down here forever, you know. And so you came here, you went, ah, so you need fill a need, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm a longtime resident, and uh, I noticed that a lot more people were driving golf carts and were using it as a way right. to move about town yes. in a fun way uh, that we can frequent the businesses, all the wonderful businesses down here. And uh, yeah, it just seemed like a great idea. I'm not trying to be lazy, but normally when we come here, we'll park at the east side, the west side, and then walk all the way up and down. By the time you're done, you're like, I'm exhausted. Oh, absolutely. It's a wonderful way to visit all the uh, shops and restaurants. Uh, it's a great way to get to know the community. Um, when you're on a golf cart, you'll see that people are waving, they'll smile. Mm. Um, it's very family oriented. Right. Uh, I don't know if you remember way back uh, when the station wagons were around yes. and the kids always wanted to sit in the back seat yes. and look behind. Yes. Uh, it's not uncommon to have children running, uh, sitting on the back, you know, waving to everybody, huge smiles. Uh, and and the, all the parades that we have, what a oh. great way, right, to participate in the one of the many parades that Safety Harbor has, whether it be a golf cart parade, Fourth of July parade, the Christmas parade. Uh, we have Nearby Suites, Suites, another oh, uh, yeah. business mm -hmm. that utilizes our carts for promotion. Right. Um, it's, like I said, it, it's just a lot of fun uh, to rent a cart. So I just want to know, you woke up one morning and went, golf cart. Absolutely. Is that how it happened? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, well, I, in fact, bought my own golf cart. Okay. And, uh, you know, I realized while everybody else was looking for a parking space and, uh, you know, I was already in the restaurant ordering appetizers. Right. So, uh, and then it just brings joy to the community. Um, like I said, it's very neighborly. People wave. Uh, they get excited to see, you know, all the different carts that are decorated uh, in whatever form or fashion. Right. And, uh, again, you know, participating in, in some of the many golf car parades was just so much fun. I said, I have to bring this to the community. Right. Um, you know, my business partner and I are also Disney trained. And so oh. we came from a hospitality background. Right, right. Gotcha. So with the, all the Airbnbs and the Safety Harbor Spa and Resort and Marbay Suites, 
out of town visitors. They want to see Safety Harbor. And it's a great way to get to check out all of the sites, Philippi Park, the Indian Mounds. Right. Uh, you know, so many historic spots right. that typically you wouldn't get to see if you were just walking around. So what type of golf carts do you have? So all of our uh, golf carts are brand new 2022 Easy Go Valors. Mm. Um, they're lifted golf carts, yeah. so high end. Right, right. Um, every single one of our golf carts is street legal, fully registered. And one of the great things about um, Happy's Golf Cart Rentals is that we're fully insured. Uh, which makes a big that is difference. That's huge. That's a great selling point. Absolutely. Right so, we are protecting the safety of the riders. Uh, we're also protecting the safety of the establishments that rent through us. Right. So, now the Valors, those are, are those gas or are they electric? They're all gas powered. Uh, yeah. uh, another great feature of our golf carts because you don't have to worry about charging them. Right. You don't have to worry about your husband or wife not charging them and all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> midstream. Yep, exactly. Uh, so it's it's just all around a wonderful time uh, to rent a cart, to check out the town, to get to know your neighbors, and you know participate in you know what Safety Harbor has to offer, which so is how many of those carts do you have? Uh, so we have ten carts. Nice. Yes, and uh, you know they're great for corporate events. We have right. a lot of five uh, Ks. You know that uh, we rent them out to to help with the signage and right, carrying right. volunteers. So there's there's a million uses for a golf cart. Oh, and uh, we're is, glad to be part of it. That's cool. Now, those are four-seaters, six-seaters? We have four-seaters available. We have six-seaters available. Um, and, you know, special occasions. We'll even decorate a cart for birthdays. Oh, uh, that's cool. Wedding parties. Uh, th th there's a million ways to, uh, to utilize a golf cart to right. add fun to uh to your day so if, if i'm if i'm in town and i want to get a golf cart what's the what's the what what's the steps do i and how old do you got to be because i think you know you're not going to give a 12 year old a golf absolutely cart. uh since we are uh full fully uh, licensed and registered and street legal they're considered low speed vehicles okay so you have to be 25 or older to rent them uh, what the benefit of using happy's golf cart rentals is that we offer free delivery and pickup so you mean I don't got to walk to five or six blocks to come if I'm seeing an Airbnb that is the one thing that I've been places and I'm like oh, I've got to find a way there absolutely That's we crazy. take we take all of the uh the hassle out of renting a golf cart uh you give us a call it could be one day before it could be the day of it could be several weeks out okay we have one day to s month rentals available I was gonna say how, you can do you, uh, is it a one day at a time or can I do you can you do multiple days. You can rent it for a day or two days, three days, however long you're here. Okay. You give us a call. You show up at your Airbnb, and there's a golf cart wet, ready and waiting for you. Uh, jump on board. Another great um, uh, feature of our golf carts is that we have front baskets, and our rear seats also fold down. Oh, so okay. So if you're going to one of the many festivals in town or in the area, we can deliver them. Uh, you can transport all your gear, come back, pick the family up go back to the festival. Uh, same thing, you know, we deliver from uh, Clearwater Beach down to St. Pete Beach. Oh, uh, that was getting ready. Uh, that was my next question. Is it strictly Safety Harbor? Absolutely not. We wow. uh, we deliver to mostly uh, Pinellas County. Okay. And once again, you're going to the beach, you know, um, we can meet you at a beach access area and uh, you put all your gear on there. Again, pick up the family down the street or, you know, right. park a little bit out of town so you don't have to pay for parking and then take that cart in. Uh, the golf cart can go on all roads 35 miles or under. Okay. Um, so in specific... Not on 19. Not in 19. Oh, Definitely God, not. not 19. Although we did have someone try. We oh, did have someone try. Geez. But um, yeah, but it, it gives easy access to town. Right. Uh, you can cross over uh, McMullen Booth at two access points, as long as the road continues at 35 miles an hour, Correct. you're good. So, okay. you know, if you're in town and you need to go to Publix, uh, you can hit the grocery store. That's phenomenal. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really such a fun way to get out there and really experience all that this area has to offer. I'm going to see you in a year and you're going to have a stretch. It'd be uh, like an eight-seater. I'm telling you, we're working on it. We're working <laughs> no, on it. Not. It's not a lie. Oh, it's not my a lie. gosh, that's crazy. We want to uh, provide the transportation needs. Uh, in this town and again you know parking it helps with cutting down on the parking situation i bet the police department really loves it oh absolutely you know it's 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 just overall there there's nothing but you know i would say it's where the good times roll yeah there you oh that's good that's a good one right that's, that's very good, good. <laughs>
Uh, oh, I see. Oh, she got me. It's on her shirt. I got there you, you I got go. Where well, the good times roll. So how do people get a hold of you? Uh, so the best way is uh, just give us a call, 727-772-3883, or you can access us uh, through our website, www.happyscarts.com. And of course, find us on Facebook, Instagram, and okay. uh, now, you can, can start you, your journey. Can you rent from the site, or do we need to? Do they need, do they need to call you? You can rent from the site. We're in the process of getting that up and running okay. uh, with the reservation system. Nice. Uh, right now, the best way is to call us directly, and um, you know, tell us what your needs are, and we'll do everything we can to accommodate them. And again, you know, we we work with you, and our mission is to provide you guys a great time. And I always say, uh, happy trails and happy tales, <laughs> because you are guaranteed right. to have some wonderful memories created by renting one of our golf carts. I I bet the Airbnbs and the spa just love you guys. We get calls all of the time. Uh, in fact, we have several customers that visit on a regular basis and we're the first person they call and they say, you know, we'll be in, you know, such and such day and uh, can we have one of our golf carts? And uh, they specifically ask for some of our carts, which really? are named. Yeah. That's you awesome. Know. So we have Flipper, I want we have Moby. Yeah, we have Jaws. Uh, so, you know, they really form a bond with the cart that they rent. Wow, that's so, very cool. Thank you for being on. Thank you so Man, much. You're awesome. I, I you're I, awesome. We, we should hang around more often. Just saying. Let's do we'll, it. We'll okay. take some cart rides. I was going to say, we'll go on there a cart go. ride, you know? Stick around. we got more people coming up. We'll be right back after these messages. everybody we're back. today seems to be like kids day except for we had some really cute outfits in here and you know so and then golf carts well i guess cats could be kids too because it help, help so i'm here <laughs> i'm here with heather rusher yes. and you hero to a child now i purposely did not ask you anything before him because i want to know <laughs> what is hero to a child well good um hero to a child is actually the nonprofit partner to the Guardian Ad Litem program. Okay. And uh, we serve Pinellas and Pasco counties. And again, we're, we're a nonprofit organization. So what we do is we bridge the gap between what the state provides the kids in dependency care and uh, what they do not provide. Okay. So we make sure that um, kids have uh, their basic needs covered right. um, while they're in dependency care. And how we do that is by um, communicating with the guardians ad litem um, who know the kids best. Now explain to people real quick, what what that guardians ad litem, I know what it is, but let them yes. know what it is. Thank you, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a very important role. So um, children um, that are deemed vulnerable that come into dependency care um, okay. in our counties, there's about, um, I think we're around 3,100 wow. uh, children in Pinellas and Pasco counties. Right. Uh, that makes up the sixth judicial circuit, which okay. unfortunately has been number one for highest amount of children in dependency care for two years running now. And what is dependency care? It's uh, foster, care, foster care, as many um, okay. uh, refer to it, but um, okay. you know, not all of them are in a foster home. So, so do you help them with decisions and what's better for them, like health and well, you know that kind of thing. The guardians ad litem actually are their one person point of contact. Okay. So they're the person that follows them. They're volunteer advocates. They do not get paid for it. They completely wow. volunteer for it, and they pretty much um, are with the child from the time that they come into dependency care to the time that they exit and beyond. It's their one consistent contact throughout right. that term. A lot of times they're changing households four or five times, yeah. changing schools. Right. Um, and that's one person they can count on to be with them throughout that process. So that person knows them best. Um, and, and that person is really uh, their guide inside and outside of the courtroom. 
So they do advocate for them inside the courtroom, but they okay. also do it on an outside basis and try to help them um, navigate through some of their most challenging times. That's phenomenal. Yeah. And that's also, I'm, I, I wanted to ask this question to the others, but it, it's got to be heart wrenching. And you get, I mean, I know it's hard to not get attached, but I just don't see how that's possible. Yeah, um, we hear the stories from the guardians. Obviously, uh, there is an emotional attachment right. at all times. But that's what the child needs. Yes. They've never had that a lot of times. Um, that's something that they don't know. Um, so they need that. Our guardians do this out of their heart and as tough as it is, um, many, many have been doing it for many years and have many cases. Right. And they keep that relationship and they do it because they see the impact they have at the end of the day. So as hard as it is, what they tell me is when you see that impact that you made and right. you, you just change the life, you change the outcome, you change the future, not only for the child, but right. for our community. Right. Um, and that's what we're all about is we need to make a difference. We don't want to stay number one. Right, right. You want to, you want to no change jobs. That. Right? Yes. The goal is to have no job ever. Yes. Yeah. And, and, it, and for the kids, I mean, to finally get someone that's really, that you know has your back. Mm -hmm. That That's huge. Exactly. And, and, that, and I've known several, I have very a few, well, I have a lot of friends that actually came from the foster mm -hmm. system. And the one thing they said is, it's just sometimes they just didn't have anybody that they felt like really truly had their back. They don't, they don't feel like they have a voice. They don't have somebody listening. A lot of them aren't even young and, or old, old enough to really make good decisions. Right. You think about it, you know, I still make terrible decisions <laughs> sometimes. And, and you I know, do. <laughs> um, they haven't had a chance to process or to learn or to even know right from wrong. Right. So they really need a mentor and a guide to help them along and, and teach them uh, what a life should look like. Um, and to be able to, you know, stick up for themselves and have a voice and have a voice that matters and that's, and that's what, somebody listens that's to. That's what Hero to a Child does. That's what we do. We're unique in the, we're one piece of the child welfare puzzle, but we're unique in that it's to the individual child. We're, we're not just throwing out stuff and, and giving it to a child. We are, um, you know, if they're going into school and they need a uniform, we're getting in that uniform. If they right. missed a hundred days of school because their parents had abandoned them and they were taking care of their younger siblings, we can help get them back on track with tutoring so that they can live that life that they should be living. Um, you know, let kids be kids. And yeah, they're, if, if the, the older, literally know a situation right now and the kid is 18, the, the father died, there's no mm -hmm. mother. And he's raising two adolescents. And I'm like, wow. And he's working a full-time job, mm -hmm. which you're like, Oof. Mm -hmm. and there's things he doesn't know. Yeah. Yeah. And you look at, you know, that sometimes the, the, the children do get to stay with a relative, an yeah. aunt, an uncle, a grandparent. Um, but could you imagine taking on a child mm. right now um, in this economy it with things tough. the way they are? Yep. It's very tough. Um, it's very tough to make it. So um, we're here to help with those things. And so you primarily co cover Pen uh, Pinellas, but Pasco as well. Pinellas and Pasco. Yep. Route. Yep. It goes by circuit um, in the state and, and we're one circuit together. So okay. Yeah. We make up one so, circuit. So if I'm watching this and I'm like, oh my gosh, what can I, what can someone do? Lots of things. Uh, we have a place for everybody and anybody that wants to get involved. And that's the most important thing to know is there are so many different pieces. And a lot of people say, hey, maybe my, my heart's not made out for a guardian or maybe my time's not. Um, there's other things that you can do. And one of them would be, um, you know, start a volunteer role slow. Mm -hmm. um, come in, volunteer for Hero to a Child versus the Guardian Ad Litem program. See what it's all about and see if you can move to that next level. We definitely need guardians. Um, yeah, so only... what's the commitment? So we have time, we have time. What is, <laughs> what is, what, so what would be the commitment for a guardian? Let me guardian. tell you the easiest place to get started mm -hmm. is I would get you in contact with our Guardian Ad Litem recruiter, whether it be Pinellas or Pasco, it's an information session. It's free. Mm. Sit on it and listen, and that's okay. what we're asking. So your commitment is, is really what you want it to. Oh, um, right. I think they'll give you about an hour average, like a, an hour it takes per month, and I don't know that off the top of my hand, but they'll talk right. you through that and see if it's a place for you. And if it's not, 
That's okay. Um, we right. get a lot of people that want to be involved in other ways, and maybe that's not for them. Right. But they get to learn that back end of the system and see what we do, um, and, and they will make an impact. So right. um, Hero to a Child, it's funds. Uh, we do a lot of the funding okay. so that we could get the children what they need, and we need help on that side too. Right. So if you um, um, maybe that guardian ad litem isn't right for you, come on over, help us raise the funds. We won't make you go knock on any. <laughs> doors or do anything like that there's a lot of back work that needs right, to be done right. and just having us here thank you so much for having us on this program and that did a great <laughs> job great job this week but this is huge help so um now you know now other people know and right. spreading our mission is a huge piece we don't have those dollars um that that marketing companies do we're right, small right. there's four of us running two counties um Whoa, four of you four of us yeah yeah that, i that's think mr many. bennett needs to come to see you guys <laughs> Well, I need I'm going to make a phone call. So. Yes, yeah, I, would, I mean, I would love um, anybody, any facet that you want to get involved. And if you don't have the time, you don't have the commitment, but you have some funds and you want to give, right. you know, $10 a month, $20 a month, maybe $20 one time, right. um, you know, that that can help buy a pair of shoes, buy a uniform for a child, um, maybe send them to soccer practice or help them get a cap and gown to graduate. Oh, Those things yeah. we take for granted. Yes, we do. Absolutely, we do. Uh, yeah. So thank you for being on. Thank you so much. All of her information has been up there. Look, I know this has been kid heavy today and I <laughs> love it because it's all about helping our kids and our youth to get to the where they need to be. Mm -hmm. Stick around. We have uh, another guest coming up. We'll be right back after these messages. Everybody, so again, today's show has been about kids, it seems like, other than the golf carts and the and the dressing. But you know you can always dress your kids. I'm just sure, saying, don't sure. let them drive your golf cart. <laughs> so we're going to close the show out with theater. Yay! Yes. Right, Kristen? Safatinos. Yes. Right? And you are with the Safety Harbors Children's Theater. That's right, correct. Right? Correct? Yes. And now... Tell me what it is all about. I mean, sure. we already talked about it. We're going to talk about it again. <laughs> sure. So the Safety Harbor Children's Theater, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Okay. Uh, we have partnered with the City of Safety Harbor to provide nice. low-cost uh, after-school programming as well as some summer camps. We've already had two summers full of uh, camps wow. so far. Um, and then we also have partnered with the Safety Harbor Library to offer free monthly workshops to families there. Oh. Uh, we have programming anywhere from ages two up to 13. Whoa, whoa two? Two. <laughs> so that well, is- you are brave. <laughs> so that really, our mission is really to expose um, children to the arts at right, a young age yeah. and kind of give them that first taste nice. of uh, dramatic arts. And it's nice with the, with the young performers, especially our, our two through four, Two through four year olds, those are our preschool playhouse kiddos. Their hams. And they Man, it's, they love what they do. It's so true. And it's great because we do an introduction through uh, children's literature. Okay. So we read a story and we you know, I don't expect the the students to sit and listen to this story. We stop and right. we act out the story. So if they're nice. if we are reading um, about different emotions, we might show uh, different facial expressions to show those different emotions. Right. If it's different animals, we might move around the space like that animal and you know make the the sound like the animal. Yeah, yeah. And so they really get to be part of the story, and it's great for reading comprehension, for uh, you know retelling of of the stories. And like you said, they're definitely not. Not shy. They like and, to. They and like you to get act them up. in it. They're so animated. They truly it's are. It's hilarious. I so I I'm 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 almost an empty nester, and both my kids are great. But when they were young, they were in it. I would love getting them up, watching them just do it because they're sure. just all over the place. You're like, that is so cool. 
Yes, and so, so many families, I, I'm a mom of three, and you have your kids that are putting on shows in front of, you know, in the living room and, uh, you know, want to entertain the family at holiday yes. times. This gives the, the students an opportunity to kind of hone those skills and be with their peers that also enjoy putting on a show. That's absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> so now, now, are these shows open to the public or are they for just your parents? Yeah, so what um, when we have our, we have two groups of after school um, performers. And so we meet at the Safety Harbor Museum and Cultural Center. Nice. So for our younger students, those are about ages five through eight. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our storytellers group. And so we'll have monthly themes where we work on certain stories or maybe aspects of dramatic arts and then they will perform for their families that's so cool our musical theater kiddos so that's anywhere ages from seven through 13 yep. they perform for the community and so we do have a production last year we had the production of wizard of oz and Ooh. we performed at folly farms and the community was welcome tickets are free we don't charge for the performance because that's Again, part of our mission is, right, right, right. is you know, cultivating that appreciation uh, for performing arts in our community of Safety Harbor. And we had a fantastic uh, time. And the, yes, last night was our second rehearsal for the spring season, which we have Kid Frankenstein. And that is good. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a zany uh, musical theater uh, production where we have, it's set in a school where there are two kind of science nerds and they right. are uh, working on a science fair project. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing, a, I'm, yeah, I'm seeing a movie in my head, <laughs> I'm just saying. So you'll, there's definitely references to, you know, the, the classic Frankenstein story, but this is written just for kids and uh, we have a lot of fun. We have two original songs that were, um, that were written for for us for really? our production. That's awesome. So we're we're really excited Don't for that. Don't tell me a seven year old did that. Yeah. No, no, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> that ought to be interesting. Ha however, the, the 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 students really do get involved in costume design, stage makeup. That's what I was getting ready to do. They get to so they get the full experience, yes. not just being on stage. But Correct. How to put it on behind the scenes? All there's so the much work so involved much as well. Work, right. For our summer camp uh, productions, we really just have a week. And we st everyone meets each other on Monday, and by Friday afternoon, we're putting on a performance for their families. Yeah. They've created, awesome. they've designed the backdrop. They've, uh, it, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing what these kids and can do. And it gets that creative mind going for sure, and it Absolutely. gives them a, a, a nice uh, outlet to express themselves and kind of explore that side of, of themselves. So what's, what's, what, so can you talk about what's coming up this year? Yes, so this year we do have, as I said, our uh, Kid Frankenstein that will be <laughs> in be. in the beginning I, you of gotta, May. I, we gotta stay in touch because yes. I wanna come see that. Oh yes, for sure. Um, and so that's going to be a lot of fun. That's yeah. gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, our storytellers, friends, they've been working on their, their first performance is, um, they've created the, the, the title and the script themselves. So it's <laughs> Zappity Zap, the Wizard and the Animals. Oh, and so there they've, we go. they've created the, the story, the plot. We've talked about the different characters. And so we're very excited for them to, to That's present awesome. later this month as so, well. So to be in it. Yes. Does, okay. So if, if I have a child, mm -hmm. is, it, is it a cost to my, is it a cost? Or does the city, or you got to work with the city? How's that work? Sure. So we do have, we do have free programming. So we are at the library. I want to make sure I get this right. So our preschool playhouse program, that's ages two through four. That's going to be the second Friday at um, 1030 a.m. And then our programming for ages four through eight, our theater improv games, that's every fourth Monday afternoon. Those okay. are both at the library. So those are completely free. Wow. If you want to get involved in our after school program, like yep. our storytellers or our musical theater, right. that's through safetyharborrecreation.org. And that is, there is a, a minimal uh, tuition cost, and then you certainly can... Um, can apply for financial aid through through the recreation That's department awesome. as well. So we try and make it as affordable as Holy possible cow. so that that everyone can participate. And who doesn't want their kid up there dancing and prancing and, and sure. acting and, <laughs> and painting set? I mean, because that is, I mean, seriously, that is great creativity. Yes. For, especially for the especially for the young kids. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And it's, you know, the Tampa Bay area, we have so many opportunities for um, theater arts with 
with the you know, Stras Center in Tampa. Ruth Eckerd Hall is right next door. You get the Clearwater Playhouse. And, yes. Oh, yeah. So many community theaters. Yes. Um, we actually, we took a group of 35 in December, and we went on a field trip to Ruth Eckerd Hall, and we saw Anastasia. And for, That was great, by the way. Did, were you? <laughs> I saw that, yes. So we... we we're able to provide that opportunity. As I said, I think we had a group of 35, a third of those um, tickets were provided through our funds that were raised. So um, so my question, do you yes. work with, do you, are you any of the you know, program or do you work with in conjunction with Stras or Clear or the playhouses or the, 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 the theaters? So we've been in communication because we are offering kind of that first taste. And right. for those younger students that maybe those other programmings don't offer, right. um, then when we have when we have these young performers who are ready for that next level, it's a great way to then introduce them to the opportunities like oh. at Ruth Eckerd, the, the Marsha B. Hoffman, um, right. at Stras, the Patel Conservatory. So it's nice to kind of have that relationship so that when those kiddos are ready for the next level, they're they're willing and, and, and waiting for them. Do you see them, like once they like when they come out of your program, do you see them getting more involved in high school? And you know, and cause all of a sudden they go, wow, I really do like this. Certainly, and I, I've, you know, we, we were, we began our programming in March of 2021. Okay. And so even in this short time, we have seen students get wow. really excited about, uh, you know, their, yeah. their future in in performing arts and seeking out opportunities and we're really happy to be able to um, you know provide some options for them beyond right. Safety Harbor Children's Theater. So how Theater. do people get a hold of you? Yes, so we um, we do have a website www.safetyharborchildrenstheater.org T H E A T R E. Uh, you can also follow us on social media. Probably our Facebook page is the easiest if you like and follow. Um, it's Safety Harbor Children's Theater and uh, that way you'll see all of those events that are on um, within the community. I know the chamber has an event coming up that will be at the kids zone. So that's anytime awesome. we have something pop up, if that's just right there on your social media feed, you don't have to hunt for us. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for being on today. Thank oh, you this, very much. This is absolutely phenomenal. Thank Look, if you. If you've got kids at home, I'm telling you right now, this this is you need to be a part of this program. Thank you. Thank you for watching today. We really appreciate it. We know you could have been watching anything else, but you hung in there with us for My Chamber TV, Safety Harbor, Safety Harbor Edition. See you next week on My Chamber TV.